so today we're going to create a ceiling fan and we're going to give it some expresso control so let's go ahead and create the cylinder and we'll just change the size about 70 part 1 feels ok and I'll reduce the rotation segments by 80 ok so I'll just make this object editable go to polygon editing mode and with the live selection tool I'll select all these parts and then go we'll take just the extrude tool and that can be found under structure extrude D for the shortcut and just pull go to our transform size tool make it bigger and again to the extrude tool ok and we'll do roughly the same over here extrude make bigger and extrude again so now we have our base pole and what I will do is just extrude again just a little bit you can interactively adjust it here so set it hit point zero 0.01 and then make it bigger and perhaps remove it down just a bit and then extrude again ok and that's it I want this part to be more rounded so we'll create an oil tank and make it smaller 10, 10.5 would do just lower the height increase the cap height then we can just go and make the object editable and selection loop selection and start selecting all these loops and then selection invert delete the rest go to point mode and go to functions optimize and this deletes the unnecessary points so we're left with this disk that we want to use as the lamp part of our ceiling fan ok we can adjust everything later perhaps this is too big for what we're doing so I'll just go ahead to polygon mode and select this then go to selection grow selection and grow it again and lower this Oops. well this is not connected but uh, I guess it doesn't matter, I just lower it and then go to edge mode selection loop selection and lower this as well and let's just connect it again so selection loop selection holding shift and then go to structure stitch and sew just click ok so now everything is connected and there are no problems here so let's get back to what we were doing I will create now a tube
make the outer radius smaller. Just a bit bigger, maybe 11.5 and inner radius 11. I'll make this about 2. Let's see how it that works. Maybe a bit smaller, 1.5. This one 10, this one 11, 11.2. Okay, so this will be the part that we'll be rotating, and we'll have the wings of the fan attached to it. So let's go ahead now and create the wings. I'll, I'll think a capsule will do. I'll just Make the radius smaller, the height as well, and the ori orientation. I will make it horizontal. Maybe height. Ah, let's go to the small. Just a bit bigger. The radius seems fine to me. So. The rotation segments, I will make four of them and then make the capsule editable. Go to polygon mode and with the rectangle selection tool, I will uncheck only select visible elements, uh, delete half of it, go to my right view. Select the top half, delete it. Now let's optimize it again. Functions, optimize. So the unnecessary points are deleted. And I will now go to structure, create polygon, and create polygon here. I'll reverse the normals. And again, structure, close polygon hole to create this polygon, which is the important one. I'll go to selection, invert, delete the rest, and take my original polygon and via the extrude tool. Give it some volume. So now we have our basic wing. We can always adjust everything. Maybe go to polygon mode. Select this polygon. Oh, I just noticed there's no polygon over here. So let's go to structure, close polygon hole, create it. So we can make this part wider. And then Go to edge mode, select these two edges, make them again wider, select the next tool. 